So I got the tarp set up nicely. It's just the perfect size. I got myself, my chair, my little backpack, and the bear vault under here. And then I have just a little corner of the fire um, covered so I can have a fire because if it continues to rain uh, or rains tonight, like I'm not having it. It's supposed to be um, zero or minus one, something like that. Feels like minus one overnight. And um, I definitely want to have a fire. I don't need to have one for dinner or anything, but I want to have one. So um, I'm all set up now. Now, if it pours rain, don't get me wrong. If it pours rain, I'm in trouble. I got to go in the tent. But um, if it's just lightly going to rain, this will keep me dry and warm and comfortable. And uh, I am that right now. So I'm um, just going to sit back and uh, see what happens. Might get the fire started. I would still like to get a little bit more wood. Um, there's a big piece in the back uh, that I have to take the saw and cut off a bunch of pieces. And I grabbed two pieces of driftwood when I was out in the boat. Um, and those have to be cut up. But I have a lot of small stuff. I could probably get the fire started. But then at some point I'm going to have to cut some wood. So um, I might just sit here and listen to my audiobook for a bit and relax because... Um, I'm so tired. I just, I hate this. I hate it, but I'm so tired. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to sit here for a bit and see what happens. All right, Sven and I cut a few pieces of wood. Um, like six or seven. And I'm just done. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Anyways, I think I have enough for a fire. Um... This wood here, uh, I'm not sure. I think it's really good. Um, it's super heavy, but I think it's dry enough. Um, but we'll see. Um, having an interesting dinner, something I don't think I've made by myself yet. So that'll be kind of neat. Actually, I should get that started right now. I was a little paranoid of walking into these. I didn't bring like any big rope. I just grabbed some twine that I had laying around because I didn't even think I was going to need the tarp because it wasn't supposed to rain. It's really hard to see the twine. So I took some pine needles and put them on the string like clothespins all along. That way uh, when I walk over I'll kind of see them and it'll make me stop and I won't yoke myself. Um, yeah, it stopped raining again. It's mirrory. Oh, it was perfect mirror and I thought oh, I'm going to go down and take a bunch of pictures of the canoe like I was going to float it on the string out in the water. Oh, this looks like mirror in the camera, but uh, it's not. There's a wind coming across. You can see it there. It's actually more ripply here for me, but yeah. I was going to float the canoe out and get some pictures because the sky looks really cool. And um, yeah, now the wind is blowing, so I guess I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to go back up and uh, get dinner started. Oh, look who decided to join us. The sun. <laughs> I'm sitting under the tarp and now the sun is out. Yay. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to stay. I'm hoping for a good sunset. I've already had like a lot of good sunrises and sunsets so far this season. I've only been out on two canoe trips. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, I decided to hold off on making the fire and just making dinner first because I, I pull my attention away from one or the other and then the fire just goes out anyways and I have to restart it. So I just figured I'll make dinner first. It's not freezing cold, especially with the sun out now. I'm so warm and comfy and cozy. I'm so happy. Um, so today I am making a beef burrito. I've got OTG, OTG Meals beef burrito mix. Um, I had the other half of this on a trip with Vicky. Uh, in the winter we were at Limberlost and we went hiking at lunch and I forgot the stove. So then we ended up having a really late lunch and we had this awesome dinner planned. So we still wanted to have all the things so we just had a little tiny bit of it. Um, so I'm gonna put some of this in a freezer bag and just rehy rehydrate like part of it because it's a lot for me. I don't need that much um, beef burrito mix. I could probably make two out of what's in here right now so I can portion it and then bring it on another trip. I just brought some wraps here. I brought two just in case. I have a tomato, which um, I've loved these little, uh, this is like uh, for muffins, uh, the paper things come in and uh, it fits this tomato perfectly anyways because it's small. 
and it just helps to keep it from getting squished and squashed in the bear vaults and I have lots of room it's just a one night trip so I'll just bring it back home I've used this I don't know on how many trips um, to bring tomatoes out I brought some salsa some dehydrated salsa that I am currently rehydrating. Actually, it looks like it's almost done. Salsa rehydrates great. And then I have some old cheddar, extra old cheddar, Cracker Barrel, and I brought some sour cream. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, beans, rice. Look at the ground beef. Well, while I am waiting the 12 to 15 minutes for the meal to rehydrate, I am chopping up a tomato. I love tomato. I brought my fancy plate today because, well, we might as well bring two. This way I can have this stuff on one. I can shred the cheese and put it on there and whatever, and then I can get the wrap ready. It's beautiful out. Now that the sun is out, it's just like, oh, it's wonderful. All right, my burrito mix is ready. It seems like I use the perfect amount of water, so I'm pretty impressed. I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> it smells amazing. It's got a little tiny bit of a kick to it, but not much. That's why I wanted the tomato and the sour cream, because for me, it cools it down. I'm gonna put the tomatoes on. I decided I'm gonna do the salsa for breakfast because it's a little bit runny and I just brought eggs and cheese for a wrap and I thought, oh, salsa would be perfect. I didn't know if I was gonna bring the tomato, that's why I brought the salsa. But if I have the tomato, I don't need the salsa too. Tomatoes, check. All right, ready to wrap it and eat it. Fire, of course, right in the eyes. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, yeah. Thanks, OTG. Oh, it's fantastic. Well, yesterday was May the 4th be with you. <laughs> And, uh, I don't know, I thought this was kind of eerie looking. There are, like, barely any clouds left in the sky, just some wispy ones. And there's one cloud, and it has been covering the sun for, like, ten minutes. <laughs> it's this tiny little cloud. And the wind just died out, as you can see, it's mirror. So, it's just sitting there, staying forever. May the fourth be with you. My first beaver sighting of the night. Got a big flunk with the tail just a few minutes ago. That's how I knew it was there. It seemed to want to call attention to itself. And let me know. Oh, it was around. I got another tail slap. Well, it's seven o'clock for the first time today. I made it down at my tank top, which is nice. Better late than never. And I always love to get really warm before bed. That's perfect. I mean, not that I'm going to bed soon, but um, it's gorgeous here. The wind has almost completely stopped. The water is perfect mirror. And right in front of me here is the sun starting to drop down below the trees. There's some wispy clouds and some light clouds. I think it's going to make a nice sunset, but I'm not sure. I'm just kind of like trying to manifest it, I think. I moved my chair. I'm just sitting here on the side of the campsite, the sunny side of the campsite, and uh, I'm just relaxing. I'm really, I know I'm going to say this again, I'm really tired. I just feel like, like a wet noodle. <laughs> oh boy. That's it. Bye. There's a barred owl hooting in the distance. I don't know if you can hear it on the phone. It's pretty far away. I thought it was a dog barking on Raven. <laughs> and then I listened more carefully and yeah, it's, it's an owl.
Lots of papers over here. Oh, hello. I see there's just a little bit of color here. There's nothing to the naked eye, but in the camera it looks a little pinkish. It is 8.30 and I got a really nice fire going. I'm just sitting here listening to the peepers peeping. A couple of beavers have swam by. Uh, saw some ducks and nothing going on with the sky, unfortunately. But, um, you know, maybe something's still coming. You never know. Other than that, uh, there's nothing going on. I'm just sitting here listening to Braiding Sweetgrass. It is Friday, May 5th, and um, I am here on Gun Lake. Well, look at what is happening over here. <laughs> I was looking at the sky, and I thought, I think it's blue hour. So I took a couple pictures, and yes, it is. And then I thought, well, I should come out and take some blue hour pictures around the campsite, like on the different, you know, viewpoints. And there is a beautiful big moon coming up over the trees. It looks gorgeous. I can't wait till it comes up. Oh, it's almost up walk to the front of the campsite to uh, check out the blue. It's kind of fading fast, but it's probably partly because the moon is coming up and uh, casting this different light on the lake. It's quite beautiful. Well, I wanted to make the Suma red for Red Dress Day. Um, I actually did bring a red dress, but I did a bunch of stuff at home last night and this morning instead. And uh, I was quite, quite satisfied with what I did. I, I think it was good. Um, anyways, I thought this would be cool, but it's not as cool as I was hoping. Well, isn't that spectacular? I can even see the face of the man in the moon. Probably not showing up on my phone, but I can see it. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm cold. I'm getting back to my fire. Off we go. Well, it's quarter after 10 and I am about done. <laughs> I'm actually shocked I'm still up. I'm just sitting here in front of the fire and it's so warm. Uh, but I'm ready for my next layer. My Patagonia is in the tent. And I just figure by the time I go get it and I gotta put away the bear vault and do a bunch of stuff, I might as well start getting ready for bed. Um, I heard a loon, the party loon from McRae, who does the whoo a couple of times and that's it. No other calls and uh, the moon is up over there on the other side. It's peeking through the trees. It's super bright. It's really, really pretty. And uh, there's a couple of stars out. I don't know if you can see them, but uh, they'll probably not be as easy to see as soon as the moon gets a little higher because it's really lighting up the sky. Um, yeah, that's about it. So a uh, really great day here in Halliburton. I'm glad I came and uh, I am so, so hoping for like a really good sleep. I'm super tired. Oh, the moon looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's a wee bit chilly. It's eight degrees now on my thermometer. Uh, I'm just getting everything put away in the tent and uh, getting ready to settle in. Just wanted to say good night to the moon and all the peepers and everything else that's out here. It's been a lovely day here in Halliburton. It's about 10.45, I came back to the tent, put all my stuff away, put the bear vault away out in the bush and um, got a couple more pictures and videos of the moon 
and uh, put my Patagonia on, took off my plaid. I've got my um, hot pocket. Yes, I do. I know it's not super cold, but I'm super cold, so I brought it. Uh, my thermometer says that it's 7.6 degrees, so that's not too bad. It's supposed to go down to feels like zero tonight, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. It was also supposed to be sunny all day, and it wasn't, so you never know. Uh, anyways, I'm hoping for a really good sleep tonight. I'm super tired, and I know I've said that 50 times. I'm really sorry. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I'm really excited to have this really nice flat spot. Uh, the last camp I did was Gibson River, and I was kind of like on like a lumpy. It wasn't too bad, but I was just a little bit angled and just kind of felt off kilter, so... Um, it's gonna be nice to sleep on a nice flat spot. Anyways, I feel warm right now, I feel good. So I'm gonna turn off the lights and go to sleep and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Well, it's 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> I just got up to go to the privy and look at this moon. It's gorgeous. It's like lighting up the whole sky. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Okay, going back to bed, cold. Well, good morning. It is 6 a.m. on Saturday, May 6th. And um, it's three degrees here. It's a little bit chilly. Uh, I was mistaken, you cannot see the sun coming up from the back of the campsite. Uh, although it's pretty and picturesque. So I'm going to go to the front of the campsite and see what I can see over there. Well, here's the view from the other side. Uh, according to the compass, the sun is supposed to come up right here behind these trees. So I really can't see it yet because of the trees. It's just coming up. Uh, some mist on the water, which doesn't look like you can see it in the video. It's much foggier here in real life. There's a lot of mist on the water. You can probably see it there when I zoom in. But tons coming, especially from this direction over here. It's all fog and mist here. All right, no crazy colors, nothing happening. Beautiful blue sky, just a couple of tiny wispy clouds. And uh, I'm gonna go crawl back into my sleeping bag and get some more sleep. See you later. Well, good morning. It is eight o'clock. I was so proud of myself for sleeping in and then I was at the privy and I'm going, yeah, it's 7.58, it's not really sleeping in, but I usually get up every day at like 5.30, 6 o'clock, so I thought it was sleeping in. Um, just got some water on, making myself a ginger tea. I would really like a hot chocolate instead, but um, ginger tea is much better for me. I'm actually just going to make it in my pot because I have um, eggs in my cup. <laughs> I wasn't going to have a drink and then I changed my mind and... Anyways, I'm listening to Braiding Sweetgrass and it's talking about all of the gifts that we get from the earth and the plants and the trees and the herbs and uh, ginger is a gift from the earth and it's something that helps my body. It's uh, good for inflammation, headaches and uh, a bunch of issues that uh, I experience. So I try to drink one every day. Um, usually it's just every day at work, but I try to do it on the weekends as well if I can. And uh, I don't love the taste of it, but it's good for you. So thanks to Mother Earth for the ginger tea. And um, I am going to make an egg wrap this morning. Uh, I usually don't eat before I get in the dry suit. So what I decided to do was um, I am going to eat first. <laughs> 
and just kind of sit around and enjoy the space for a while let the food kind of get in get through and then pack up my stuff and hopefully uh, if I need to use the facilities uh, because of breakfast I will um, be able to do that again hopefully before I get the dry suit on and leave camp um, that's the plan anyways so we'll see if it works I have decided that I am gonna go through the creek area uh, there's a hundred and fifty nine this, then the measurements are so weird. It's like a 150 meter portage or so going this way uh, as opposed to the 358 meter portage coming in here, which isn't really the reason. There's more paddling, lots more paddling. Um, but I want to go through that small creek area and uh, then I'm going to come out at Raven, kind of near where I camped. I went at winter camp there. I want to say winter camp. I brought the hot tent with the canoe uh, and I camped on Raven. Uh, but it's technically Deer Lake. It's hard to tell where it one ends and one begins because there's no separation, but um, I'm gonna pass by that site and then paddle all through Raven and then back to the dam from there. So I'm not sure how much paddling. Again, I didn't bring the little measurement tool and it doesn't really matter to me, maybe a couple kilometers. Um, so that'll give me the longer way out and give me some more time on the water. It's supposed to be beautiful today. It is eight degrees right now, and uh, I still have my little hot pocket in my shirt, which is why I probably look all lumpy, but I'm okay with that. Uh, it's still going, so I'm still using it. Um, but I am starting to feel the warmth of the sun on my skin, and it's wonderful, and um, yeah, it's nice. So I have a wrap here, just like the one I had last night. I've brought my little frying pan. I just got a little bit of butter in there. I'm gonna put that on the uh, stove. Oh no, got a pine needle in my eggs. Extra flavor. Come on, guy. All right, I have two eggs in here that I cracked in there that I am going to um, beat. I like my eggs well mixed when I make it like this anyways. All right, and then I have that little bit of salsa that I rehydrated yesterday that I'm gonna put in there. And then I have some cheese. So I'm just gonna make a nice little egg wrap with egg and cheese and salsa. And uh, sit here and enjoy my ginger tea and the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scenery around me. Okay, that's it, easy peasy. Some cheesy. <laughs> Just put it on my lap. My goal is to eat this while it's still hot. <laughs> I ate a lot of my food cold because of filming and pictures and stuff, so it's the way the business is. Anyway, one of a teat. Here we go. Really good. All right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, it's 9.40. I'm still sitting here. My tent is still up over there somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's behind me somewhere. Um, I'm sitting on the sunny side of the campsite. Well, I was. The wispy clouds are coming and going. Um, they've been mostly going, so it's been fairly sunny and I'm still feeling the heat. Um, I also remembered that I was over here collecting firewood yesterday and I got a text message. So I thought maybe, oh, this is where the signal is, even though I was listening to the audiobook over by the fire pit, but whatever. Um, so sure enough, I finally got online. Um, I wanted to check my test results. I have Dynacare, it's an app you can get on your phone. And as soon as your test results come in, when you do blood work, you can see them and it'll tell you what the readings are and all this stuff. Um, now, obviously I'm not a medical professional. I don't know exactly how to read them, but from what I can see, my iron is low and my body is not absorbing iron properly. And it says that I'm anemic. I did actually just start taking iron on Monday again. 
um, and I am taking something with it. Uh, I can't remember what it is. It's vitamin D or vitamin C, but um, when I bought the got the iron, I was instructed to take it with this other thing because uh, it helps absorb the iron. So for some reason, my body is not absorbing iron, which explains why I'm so tired. And again, I'm sorry for complaining yesterday. Um, I just kind of blurt things out as I think them and um, hopefully it wasn't excessive. I'll edit it all out if it was. So if you didn't hear that, then that's why. <laughs> uh, anyways, I haven't done anything yet. It's about quarter to 10 and uh, I'm just sitting here chilling in the sunshine. And um, now that I got those test results, I can kind of uh, stop looking online. That's the only thing I was trying to see. I wasn't trying to look at Facebook or Instagram or anything. I just wanted to see if I could find my test results. And uh, I was able to find them, screenshot them, and then Google uh, what they meant. Yeah, that's all that's going on here. I'm just chilling like a villain. All right, well, it's 20 after 11. I'm still here at the campsite. I have all my stuff packed now. Um, after those canoes went through to the portage, uh, two more canoes came out. I kept hearing people, so I knew there were still people out there. Uh, so two more canoes came through. I think there was three people in one and two in the other. Uh, a bunch of kids, uh, maybe just family taking their kids out for the day. And uh, they headed towards the creek where I'm going. So then I thought, well, I now I need to slow down because they're gonna be in front of me. And I like to take pictures and videos, obviously, um, you know, paddling the mirror water with the sounds of the birds chirping and it's so beautiful and I put it on social media and people are like oh and they don't want to hear the little kids yelling in the background so um which is fine and some people maybe they do want to hear that I don't know but um I like to kind of give people their space. They have a portage to do. And so I'm just gonna give them some space and some time to get through there and kind of get over to Raven um, before I head out. All right, it's 11.40. <laughs> Forgot to take that video I take on the shore with the canoe all loaded up saying I'm ready to go. Um, I just got in it and was like, oh, wait. Um, just have my foot on the rock here. And uh, I'm all backed up and ready to go. Goodbye, awesome campsite, McWitch. Thank you for your hospitality. It's a beautiful day. I'm just coasting right now and uh, enjoying the gorgeous weather. Thank you, Mother Nature. corner to see the portage and those two um, canoes that had passed by my site earlier with the kids in it so they're just loading up the boats and leaving the portage now so I just pulled over to the side to kind of give them some time and uh, let them get themselves established and uh, then I'll jump on and do the portage after it's just a small one and I'm in no rush so just take my time just passed the people there and uh, I got recognized. <laughs> I am at the portage now and off I go. <laughs> this portage is a little bit confusing. I'm walking along beside the river, creek, stream, whatever it is. Uh, rushing water, it's beautiful. I'll take some pictures and videos in a second. But you're walking along and all of a sudden there's a bridge that goes over the rushing water and there's no sign. And I don't know if I'm supposed to go over the bridge or keep going straight, because Portage isn't like super clean either, right? Because it's, you know, beginning of the season. So anyways, you go straight, you don't go over the bridge, just so you know. <laughs>
Isn't that awesome? The bridge. Under the bridge. Down it goes. I gotta go get the boat. I'm procrastinating. But it's so pretty. There's a nice cool breeze. So I had a crazy current and I was filming, but I was filming in portrait for uh, a story. Um, I do have a down tree here that I have to get past, so I gotta go. This is not going to be fun. I have no idea what to do here. It doesn't look like anybody's been through here. It's like this tree just went down recently. I think I'm going to have to pull all my stuff over here with the canoe. Um, or I could break some of these branches and go underneath, but the current's pushing me, so I don't know if I'm going to have to do that. Sorry for the noise. Uh, there's somebody working on something right up there on the hill. Um, so here's the tree. It is down. It goes all the way across the water. Uh, but just at the end here, there's a little teeny tiny bit of water. I don't know if I could have gotten through there or not. I'll watch this. Let's see can disappear into the ground here. Um, so I just pulled the canoe over. I backed up, paddled up, took some pictures for the office, and uh, then pulled the boat up here. Um, so, in a little while, this is all going to be covered. These are actually very thorny bushes, but they're all still flattened down. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the canoe through here. There's a little bit of water going through, and just bring it through here, and then out the other side. Good times. <laughs> Love a challenge. Yeah, there's a little cabin there. There's some people there. They came out to see if I was okay, which was nice. The down tree is right there, um, just right by that property. Okay, I'm back on the water and all good. The waterway is still moving pretty good here, not as much as uh, earlier, but it's still going. And I got a bit of a headwind here, of course. I'm sure as soon as I get to Raven, the winds are going to pick up because <laughs> I've chosen to go the long way around. I'm going to do more paddling than portaging, but we'll see. Hopefully it's not too bad. Sometimes it just gets like this in these spots, like a wind tunnel. And when you get out into the water, it's fine. So, as soon as I uh, paddle up a little bit more, I'm going to be turning left and I'll be on the main part of the lake. Get a bigger body of water. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. It's one o'clock and uh, this has actually been really delightful so far. Um, so far I haven't uh, had any cottages or speedboats or anything because this part of the lake doesn't have any on it. Well, I almost got mirror here. <laughs> it's amazing. And a breath of wind. Beautiful. All right, I am heading into that little channel right there. And uh, won't be long till I'm at the portage. All right, quarter to two. And I'm just about back at the portage here, going into Wren. All right, it is two o'clock and I have just finished the little portage around the dam. I just have a teeny tiny bit of paddling to do to get back to the access. Beautiful mirror water here, gorgeous, gorgeous spring day and uh, it was a great trip.
And that's a wrap. Well, I just wanted to take a quick moment to do a recap here. I'll just put this at the end of the video. Um, really great time on Gun Lake. Uh, I really enjoyed the campsite. Uh, it was nice to have the time to just paddle around yesterday and look at them all and see which one I wanted, if I wanted to change or not, and then um, enjoying the uh, amazing campsite that I was on. Uh, it's a great campsite and uh, I really do like it. Only, only downfall is you can't see the sunrise, but um, I stayed in the tent till about 7.30, 8 o'clock, and by the time I got out, the sun was on the campsite. So it wasn't major, but, um, and I don't know if anything happened, if there was amazing sunset or, not, or sunrise or not, but oh well. Um, yeah, I'm going to be going on May long weekend trip next, I believe. So I hope you uh, check that out and I uh, hope you're enjoying my videos. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.